Information Systems is the best major at Carnegie Mellon. Here's why. So before I talk about why Information Systems is so great, first of all, let's talk about what Information Systems actually is. CMU's website defines it as a combination of computer science, information technology, and business management. In other words, it's a discipline that encompasses a bunch of other different disciplines within it. And what that means for prospective students, incoming students, or students who are currently at Carnegie Mellon who want to internally transfer is that the Information Systems program is very flexible. You can decide whether you want to do information technology, business consulting, technology consulting, or software engineering. With that being said, let's get into the first reason why IS is so great. So the first reason why IS is so great is because of the flexibility in its curriculum. And in order to understand this better, I'm going to give a quick overview on CMU's graduation requirements. In addition to completing all of your general education requirements, you also have to complete a total of 360 units before you can graduate. And you may have heard of the credit system from other universities, and we have units in place of that. And basically what a unit is is a representation of one hour per week per semester that you have to work on that class so if a class is nine units you can expect to work nine hours on that class each week throughout the semester including your classwork in other words if the class meets for three hours a week then you can expect to have around six hours of work each week for that class. Classes are usually around nine units each, although they can go a little lower in some cases, and sometimes the more work-heavy classes can stretch to 12 or even 15 units. With that being said, depending on how much AP credit you come into CMU with, you can expect to take around 180 to 240 units of IS and general education requirements throughout your time at Carnegie Mellon. Now, taking into consideration that you need to hit a total of 360 units, that means you can have up to 180 units or up to half of your entire schedule be as flexible as you want because that time isn't filled up by those general education requirements. And having half of your schedule available for whatever you want to take is far more than many other majors. And as a result, you can do a lot more than many other majors. You can easily fit a double major into computer science or business or whatever you want with that 180 units that you have. Another option that you have is to take a gap semester, which is what I'm doing currently this fall. So basically, if you have enough credits to graduate on time, you can actually take time off from school to pursue whatever you want to do, whether it be personal projects or another internship, or honestly, even just to save money. The IS program really lets you reach your goals academically, whether it be to graduate as soon as possible or to have a solid tech foundation while exploring other passions. So the second reason why the IS program is the best program at Carnegie Mellon is because of what's in the curriculum. So there are currently only four core classes for the IS program. And the first one is the one that you take in your freshman spring, which is called the Information Systems Milieu. And basically what the milieu is, is it's a great introduction to a bunch of different information systems topics, such as web development, team building, and databases, so that even if you don't have very much experience in these areas, you can get a quick introduction so that if you decide to take harder classes later on, you have at least some foundation in these areas. All in all, this class serves as more of just an introduction into tech and isn't really that specialized in any way. But this is different in the classes that follow. So the second class that you typically take in the IS program is database design and development. And this class teaches you from start to finish what a SQL query is, how to write them, what database schema are, and basically just expanding a lot on that brief introduction that you have in the milieu. During this class, I went from almost having no knowledge about databases to feeling pretty comfortable about basic to intermediate level SQL queries. So the third class that I'm gonna talk about is the class that you take in your sophomore spring, and that is application design and development. And this class is essentially just one big project that you split into five different phases. And what the project is, is basically just creating a web application from start to finish and what this year's project was was creating an online store for a baking outlet and what we had to do was we had to create our user stories we had to create a system to manage our users we had to create a way to process transactions and pretty much just mimicking what an online store does and unfortunately this course only takes place over one semester so the class ends up being pretty jam-packed for information but you really get a good sense of how to build things in the model view and controller framework and just the basic concepts about how web applications work overall and the final class that I'm going to talk about about is one that I haven't taken yet, and that's the Information Systems Consulting Project. And this class you usually take in your junior spring or your senior spring semester. And basically what it is, is you work with a couple of other Information Systems students, and your team is then assigned an outside organization that wants technology consulting, and your team works on providing a solution for that client. So from what I've read about this course and what I've heard about this course, it's definitely the one that I was looking forward to the most, and that's because you're getting that real world consulting experience 
without even having to step out of the classroom. So having that experience built into the information systems curriculum really sets it apart in my opinion. And along those same lines, the reason why I think that this curriculum is really strong is because of the practical nature of all of the classes. The milieu gives you a foundation for these tech skills and databases and application development, give you the skills needed to properly provide a technological solution for a client who needs it. So the third and final reason why I like the information systems program at Carnegie Mellon the most is because of the career outcomes. One of the cool things about CMU is that it releases an employment report for all of its students every year. So as you can see here, we can select for say the last three years. And so we have nearly 190 records and some general stats right here that the average salary is about $101,000 and the median salary is $105,000. And that range stretches all the way up to $185,000 per year. But more than that, the top employers include many of the world's most prestigious companies such as Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, Google, Deloitte, so it's because of this employment report and the jobs that I've seen my friends get from the IS program that makes me think that because you're in the IS program, you can get nearly any job that you set your mind to in the world of tech. And while the average career outcome in the computer science major may be better than the average outcome of the information systems major, to me, looking through the information systems employment report and seeing all of these big names still on the report and seeing multiple people from each year go to these great companies proves to me, in my opinion, that if you're in the information systems major and you work hard enough, you can reasonably expect to get a great job out of college. So yeah, those were all of my reasons for why I think the information systems major at Carnegie Mellon is the best one here. I know it's a pretty bold statement, but I think this statement rings true for me. And it may also ring true for a lot of people who are looking for jobs in tech. And with that being said, if you are looking for a job in tech, I have a video right here that you can watch that is a step-by-step -step guide for how to get your first internship.